what's causing the current slump in Ethereum's value. Let's dive into some recent data from CryptoQuant that might shed some light on this question. Uh, CryptoQuant's analysis focuses on the taker-buy-sell ratio, a key indicator of market sentiment in the futures arena. Uh, this metric measures the balance of buying versus selling activity with a ratio above one indicating buyer dominance and a value below one highlighting aggressive selling. Um, recent data shows that this ratio is dipped below one, uh, indicating that sellers are currently overpowering buyers in the Ethereum futures market. Uh, this trend suggests that the majority of the futures traders have been selling Ethereum uh, aggressively, um, either for speculative purposes or to realize profits. Um, and uh, uh, this downtrend is concerning for Ethereum investors as it could signal a continuation of the current downtrend in the short term. Over the past week, Ethereum has seen a 2% decline with a sharper drop of nearly 6% in the last 24 hours alone. Uh, furthermore, Ethereum's challenges are compounded by a rise of competing platforms like Polygon, which recently reported a higher monthly active user count than Ethereum. Uh, while this does not directly ruling influence Ethereum's price, it signals shifting preferences within the blockchain ecosystem, potentially diverting attention and investment from Ethereum. And with all that said, the, it's important to remember that the crypto market is notoriously volatile and trends can shift quickly. So while the current data may be concerning uh, Ethereum investors, it's not necessarily a pause for panic. Um, and now for a little joke to lighten the mood, why don't cryptocurrencies ever go to parties? Because they're afraid of being minted. With that said, thanks for watching and tune in next time.